love oracle so think of someone or something that you love and this will be your guidance for that Ooh, we have the rainbow sweet relief new beginnings a new way forward yeah we get caught sometimes in ways that just don't work in like this um, ultimatum energy this energy of like codependency this maybe even non-tolerance towards um, I wanted to say epic failures uh, maybe you're judging yourself or another too harshly and it's time to come out of that energy and start looking at things through the eyes of impermanence yes boundaries yes structure but I think really being forgiving at this time where other people like needed to grow and your boundary actually can provide a structure for them to grow jealousy is someone throwing shade at you baby let them know that you got a whole rainbow of tricks up your sleeve and that you're magical and that their jealousy really doesn't affect you one thing that actually let's see what mary magdalene has to say for that jealousy card because it feels like oh ego damn we got ego here too Archangel Jopia. if anyone who's watching this is throwing shade just know i'm protected by my angel team and they will come for you baby so don't try and play me like that all right we got sarah in the white spring fill your sacred chalice Y'all, I just be joking on here so much, but truly, it feels like the healing waters will have another answer for us. Making waves, momentum is building, it's your time achievement. So, Sarah in the White Spring with this card of achievement just speaks to waiting, being still in the victory energy, and not being swayed by envious, jealous people who want to come along and try and raid on your parade. People who are in their ego who can't really be balanced when they see you thriving. If you have people like that around you, just understand it's not personal, it's vibrational. They might be afraid that you're gonna leave them behind when you glow up. And likely, if they're not glowing up, you will, you'll have to. It's just inevitable. It's about the vibration we're cultivating in ourselves. Like if you walk into a Gucci store wearing clothes with like food stains on them, you're not gonna get the same reception as if you go in there dressed like you're about to spend money because you know that is a transactional environment. So. Be sure that you're cultivating the vibration of the energy you would like to receive, having that reciprocal energy. Like before doing this, for instance, I got into flow state. So that's how I know my messages are tapped in and steep for you. Let's get one final card for those of y'all still watching. Oh my gosh, so funny. Yeah, make waves and be sure to fill your sacred chalice with the, the positive vibrations that you deserve because you are the magician.